Over the past few years, the SAF has been developing new operational concepts and experimenting with force multiplying technology. With its ongoing transformation into a third generation force, the SAF is now putting into operation these concepts and technologies. We're always fascinated by the Singapore, um, their approach to introducing new technology. Um, and, uh, and we get to look at some of that new technology and see how we can sort of uh, bring that into the New Zealand Army. Indeed, one strength of the third generation SAF is its ability to leverage and network the various technologies, systems and capabilities across the Army, Air Force and Navy. The third generation SAF can find a target through multiple means, approach it from myriad points and strike simultaneously in a multitude of ways. This integrated fighting system not only has greater capability than the sum of its parts, it also overcomes Singapore's small population and size. Exercises such as forging Sabre in the US and the annual Wallaby in Australia validate the SAF's efforts to operationalize the first phase or spiral of the third generation SAF. Exercise Forging Sabre in 2005 was the SAF's first third generation integrated strike exercise in which the sensor shooter concept was demonstrated. SAF Apache attack helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles, F-16 fighter aircraft and artillery platforms were deployed together in a live firing exercise carrying out precise, coordinated fires in a closely networked environment. My observations are precisely that of my staff and they think this is a great team. They, they put rounds right on target and that is not easy to do, that is very, very hard to do. Um, and to be able to coordinate it all and put it all together is just a remarkable complement to the professionalism of these forces. Exercise Wallaby 2007, conducted at the Shoalwater Bay Training Area in Queensland, Australia, featured a network-enabled army with one of the largest integration of air and land forces. In the third generation army, we do systems fight and therefore it is important for us to be able to come together and train together in uh, this sort of a setting so that we are able to harness the complete capabilities of the air platforms as well as the land platforms to prosecute integrated uh, operations. Exercise Wallaby involved artillery systems such as the Primus self-propelled howitzer and mortar tracked carrier. Fire! Armored platforms such as the Bionics 2 infantry fighting vehicles and the RSAF Apache attack helicopters. It saw the synchronized delivery of precision fires by air and land fighting platforms. High bandwidth networks enabled real-time data flow. Planners in the headquarters and commanders shared the same battlefield picture and orchestrated strikes in a dynamic battlefield environment. We are exploring various uh, capabilities so that the information process from sensor acquisition down to the shooter and engaging the enemy is much faster. And also the information given is much more accurate without any ambiguity and uh, so that the helicopter can decisively engage exactly where the land commander wants him to uh, engage. Superior technology and organization alone cannot guarantee the success of the SAF. Key to the SAF's operational readiness and third generation transformation are its people, the SAF's most vital resource. I think increasingly, having invested in technology, we also have to think about ways in which we have to equip our, our, our men with a certain kind of mindset such that they in turn be multipliers for technology so that they're not just operators of 
particular technologies, but they learn how to evolve their tactics, um, their use of this uh, equipment and uh, technology to uh, overwhelm a similarly evolving enemy that's also changing, also learning. The SAF invests heavily in training its leaders and servicemen to develop professional skills and unlock each soldier's potential. This one to one three Sierra, thunder now. In Officer Cadet School, critical thinking is a core competence developed in our officer cadets, enabling them to appreciate ground situations. Instructors keenly observe the trainee's performance, giving constant feedback to help them improve performance. It is about developing a system where the learner himself is engaged. So the old paradigm of the instructor is the man, I say you do, to the instructor is the facility to enable that learner to draw out the potential. Training also aims to develop leaders holistically with the right skills, attitudes and leadership qualities. All of us here, we have a potential to lead. And so it's our duty when we come into NS to develop that leadership potential because eventually should conflict come, we're going to be in charge of fellow sons of Singapore. We have to train our best to make sure that we can take care of those sons and together keep Singapore safe. That's what we're here to do. <laughs> 